Speed is one of the most important factors in a car. There are cars capable of reaching huge speeds. We will see the 10 most fast cars in the world with prices details, horsepower and more. Make sure you watch until number 1 cause it is one of the most expensive cars you will ever seen. The Saline S7 is only the second American-built supercar on this list. Introduced in 2000 with a naturally aspirated 7.0-liter V8, the S7 was upgraded to a twin-turbocharged unit in 2005. Rated at 1,000 horsepower with the optional competition package, it enables the S7 to hit a top speed of 248 horsepower. Although it's the last car on our list, we need to note that the turbocharged S7 reached 248 miles per hour the same year when the Varen established a record at 253.8 miles per hour. Saline wasn't far behind. But unlike Bugatti, Saline never attempted to set a new record for production cars. In 2017, Saline announced the S7 LM, with 1,500 horsepower and a top speed of 298 miles per hour, but that benchmark was never tested. One of the newest cars on our list, the McLaren Speedtail, was introduced in 2019, and it's considered a spiritual successor to the iconic F1. But that's mostly because it features a three-seat layout with the driver's seat in the center. Unlike other cars on this list, the Speedtail is a hybrid, combining a twin-turbo, 4.0-liter V8 gasoline engine with an electric motor, McLaren says that the Speedtail is able to hit 250 miles per hour, which makes it the company's fastest vehicle yet. However, the British firm has yet to release proof that the Speedtail is indeed capable of such speeds. The fourth Bugatti on our list, the Standard Varen, is the first production car that surpassed the 250 mile per hour mark. And it did it back in 2005, when it put an end to McLaren's long-standing record set with the F1 in 1993. The Varen, fitted with an early version of the 8.0-liter W16, hit a top speed of 253.8 miles per hour on April 19, 2005. Its record stood for two years, but it was recaptured by the Super Sport version, and then by its successor, the Chiron. This is the only Bugatti in our list that generates less than 1,000 horsepower. The W16 used in the original Varen cranks out 987 horses and 922 pound-feet of torque. The ultimate aero is the car that briefly stole the record from the Bugatti Varen. Until the Varen Super Sport came to take it back. SSC set its record in 2007 with a twin-turbo version of the car. The ultimate aero hit a top speed of 256.1 miles per hour somewhere in West Richland and held the record until 2010. The ultimate aero was discontinued in 2013 after several limited edition models, but SSC is now working on a new contender for the world's fastest production car, the Tuatara. While the record car came with 1,183 horsepower and 1,094 pound-feet of tap, SSC increased power to 1,300 horses toward the end of production. It also switched the original 6.3-liter V8 with a 6.9-liter engine. The Ajera RS may be the fastest of its kind, but the Ajera R isn't far behind. Produced from 2011 to 2014, the Ajera R featured the company's legendary 5.0-liter V8 engine, capable of up to 1,124 horsepower and 885 pound-feet of torque. The Swedish firm used this car to set a handful of records for production cars in 2011, but these were eventually reset by the Ajera RS. Although it didn't set a record for top speed, the Ajera R was nearly as fast as the Bugatti Varen Super Sport at 260 miles per hour. This benchmark places it in fifth place on our list and makes it the second Koenigsegg to make our top 10. The standard Bugatti Chiron made it on our list as one of four Bugattis. Introduced in 2016 as a replacement for the Varen, the Chiron retains the quad-turbo W16 engine, but power was upgraded to 1,479 horsepower and 1,180 pound-feet of torque. The Chiron's top speed is officially limited to 261 miles per hour, which is a bit below the Varen Super Sport. On the other hand, the Chiron Super Sport tops the list with more than 300 miles per hour, so we know there's plenty of potential under the hood. The Bugatti Varen may be five years old as of 2020, but it's still among the fastest supercars ever built. Actually, the record set by Bugatti in 2010 places the Varen in fourth place with a top speed of 267.8 miles per hour. This benchmark was achieved with a beefed-up model called the Varen Super Sport. Bugatti built a special run of 30 cars called World Record Edition to celebrate the event, but these vehicles are limited to 258 miles per hour to protect the tires. 
The Super Sport was also the most powerful version of the Varen, with its 8.0-liter W16 rated at 1,184 horsepower, 197 more than the regular model. The Venom GT was introduced in 2011 and remained in production until 2017. Despite the seemingly long run, only 13 cars were built. Based on the Lotus Exige, the extensively modified Venom GT features a twin-turbo, 7.0-liter V8 engine under the hood. Based on General Motors LS7 V8, the unit pumps out up to 1,244 horsepower and 1,155 pound-feet of torque. The Venom GT hit its highest top speed in February 2014, when it reached 270.4 miles per hour on Kennedy Space Center's shuttle landing strip in Florida. Although the speed was higher than the world record at the time, it did not qualify for the Guinness Book of Records because Hennessy's run was in a single direction. Also, the limited production run of only 13 cars went against Guinness rules. The most powerful version of the Ajera, the Ajera RS, became the world's fastest car on November 2017, when Koenigsegg hit an average speed of 277.9 miles per hour. The record lasted less than two years, but the Ajera RS still owns a handful of benchmarks, including acceleration from 0 to 200 miles per hour, braking from 200 to 0 miles per hour, and 0 to 200 miles per hour and back to full stop. Unlike Bugatti, Koenigsegg didn't build a limited edition version of the Ajera RS to celebrate the record, but the RS itself was limited to 25 examples. The standard Bugatti Chiron is already among the fastest cars in the world with a top speed of around 261 miles per hour, but the French firm wanted to set a new record, so it created an even more potent beast. Bugatti took the slightly more powerful engine from the Cento DSE, rated at 1,578 horsepower, 99 more than the standard Chiron, added longer gear ratios to the gearbox, and crafted a revised aerodynamic package that increases the car's length by almost 10 inches. The modified car hit a top speed of 304.7 miles per hour on August 2. To celebrate the even, Bugatti is building a production model based on the prototype, called the Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus. This car is limited to 30 examples, enough to validate the speed record with the Guinness World Records. If you liked the video don't forget to comment and leave a like to support the channel. Hope to see you on the next one.